What if I told you there was a way that you could take a holiday every single day and you didn't have to go anywhere for it? Life moves fast. Sometimes so fast, we often find it difficult to keep up with it without compromising on our physical and mental well-being. I know myself and many others, we take holidays to get away from life, to get away from stress, to get away from work, to get away from sometimes even family and just find space to ourselves. I don't know about you, but I feel like we do not get enough of these holidays. We typically associate a holiday as going to some place, like some place that is away from where we are at the moment. Very often it's internationally, sometimes it's interstate, or even it's like locally somewhere. We try to remove ourselves from our environment. But if we think about it for a moment, why we take these holidays, why we go on these trips, more often than not, the reason is to take rest. And so ultimately what we are really seeking is a mental and emotional break, a chance to be in solitude and a chance to gain perspective. And so if we take that purpose and take it to our present moment, we can actually have holidays without going anywhere. Wow. Some people actually, to be honest, like to take a moving holiday, which is things like going for a run or going for a walk or practicing yoga. Others hit the gym, do breath work or meditate. Whatever practice you use to really just switch off, take that mental holiday, I think should be following these four principles. It should be something that you do alone, something that brings you into the present moment, something that doesn't rely on a smartphone or really a device, and something that is done in complete silence. If you follow these four things, you're gonna start meeting your needs, your need to rest, to take a break, to relax, not your want to travel or desire to go to a certain place and switch off. Like that's not the need, like that's, the, that's a want. You're meeting the needs now when you do something that meets those four principles. Now you do not need to stick to them all, but the more you do, the better. I'd recommend trying a few different ones throughout the day or even throughout the week. Now the bare minimum here is to do one of these things at least daily. That way you can ensure that you're gonna feel that holiday feeling by the end of the week. And look, I get it, like life sometimes demands a lot from us. These are just small little ways that we can take a little break, a little holiday throughout our days, throughout our weeks, so we can really meet our needs. Speaking of holidays, speaking of breaks, a couple of weeks ago, myself and my really good mate Natish went on a little bit of a break ourselves down in Flinders, which is about an hour and a half, two hours away from Melbourne. Give it a watch so you can get an idea of the feeling of what it really means to switch off and just relax. And hopefully with this video and that video, you have an idea of what to do and what it feels like. Good luck, all the best. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.